That's me. Can't tell. Yes, sometimes I do dress up. Um, although my appearance, I have played with it over the years. Um, once upon a time, I had long hair. Yeah. I was told a lot of women would come up to me and say, I really like your hair. What I found out is they liked my hair. They didn't like it on me. They wanted my, yeah. But I did some crazier things when I had long hair, like cornrows. Yeah, take your picture, cameras out now. Your phone's out, take pictures. Back no material. And then after you take cornrows out. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that's what they look like after. So, you, so it was mentioned that I ran for political office. I obviously cut my hair to do that. Here I am looking uh, stately with my, um, yeah, right, with my, um, with my campaign manager. That was my signs. You may have seen them around town. It was Optimus for US Congress. So I ran in District 6, Congressional District 6, back in 2016. And you shake a lot of hands. Can't discriminate. Uh, these days, I perform weddings on the side. So you know anyone getting married? Send them. I can do that too. <laughs> Double plug. So these are some friends I helped marry, both of them. Um, so, but the most important thing to me is my dogs. These are my dogs that have sadly have passed. This is a painting with them. So up at the top was Ellie. She was my first dog as an adult. She, her name was also 1111. Sometimes Elvis, I called her. But uh, she was amazing. She was the best dog I've ever had. She, I could go to a hotel where she'd never been before. It sounds crazy, but I could open the door to the hotel room and let her roam the property on her own and come back when she was ready. I mean, it was, she was just like that. She would just check it on me. And then down here is Ruby. I got her next, the one in the middle. She was all about kisses and licking. She, she was a Weimariner. And then over here is Joe. He too was a Weimariner. Ellie was a Doverman, a fond Doverman. But he was, the, he was the easiest, sweetest dog. He was the dog for those that like cats. Because he didn't lick, he didn't growl, he didn't bark, he didn't bite. He didn't do anything but just curl up he was, a, he was like a cat. He really was, a big cat. And then over there on the end is Wendy. She was a bit feisty. She had her moments of fighting with a couple of them, but at one point I had three of them all, so I was a full-time dog parent at one point and a part-time car buyer in the past. <laughs> These days, or this picture actually was Ellie and Joe. This is the best picture I've ever taken, as you can see why. It's in uh, Del Mar, California, on, or Solana Beach. It's right on the border at Dog Beach, and uh, Joe in front, and Ellie in back. But um, these days, the love of my life is Grace. She is uh, 10 and a half months. She's half Doberman, half German Shepherd. There she is with one of my shoes. The shoe does not look like that anymore. Uh, yeah, I had some friends over the other day, I have a pair of shoes that she, they are down to the soles, and that is it, a pair of tennis shoes. She likes them more than bones. Here she is at daycare. This was her St. Patrick's Day photo. Here she's learning to dance. They had a different daycare, but still dance lessons at daycare. And that was her spring photo just a couple weeks ago. Getting down to business. So there's a video that will introduce my presentation. Hello, folks, what floor? Oh, we're car shopping. Oh, we're going down. This floor root canal. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is not too good. I remember, innocent and so good. Yeah, he did it. My God. Hey, six by five, you don't see me. Who's got vitamin C? <laughs> this floor, the top. Your body's changing. My body changed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think most of us, if not all of us, can agree car shopping is the bottom of that list, the lowest floor of the elevator. Um, I've often had people say to me, I'd rather get a root canal, or I'd rather do jury duty. I mean, they really have come up to me, so that's why this commercial is so apropos. All of you have a cheat sheet for my presentation, my business card, which here it is, very large. So, um, car sultants, because I'm a, not a car 
salesman. I'm a, car, I'm a consultant that helps people buy cars, so car sultans. I've been in the car business since 1993, so saving car buyers time and money since 1993. I'm more proud of the time savings than I am of the money savings because you know time is priceless and it's just uh, something I do a lot of, so I'm really proud that I save people time and I save them money too. Um, in 93, I started as the wholesale car buyer. So I used to go to car dealerships and buy the trade-ins. I have bought over 3,000 used cars in my past. Um, each individual, each one I looked at, I was not an auction buyer. So I have bought only two cars at auction and they were for me personally. Everything else I bought was from sitting across from a used car salesman, I mean used car manager, and buying the trade-ins. So I have a lot of experience with cars. Um, before that, I had an internship with General Motors in high school and another internship with a large car dealer. I was once a lot attendant. That was all before 93. So I have more than 25 years experience. It's now almost, I don't even know. I'm not that old. But I have an MBA. I have an MBA in uh, finance and marketing, which helps me with negotiations. Um, Scottsdale. I'm based in Scottsdale. However, I do work statewide. And occasionally, I will go out of state. But for referral purposes, just think of me as statewide. So anyone in Arizona, I can help you. Down here, all makes and all models. I do all makes, all models. I do, I mean, Bentleys, Ferraris I've done. However, I do much more of Hyundais, Kias, Toyotas, Hondas, Nissans, BMWs, Lexus. Those are the ones I do most of. But I can do just about anything. Leases, as I mentioned in my 25 second. Leases are just as negotiable as purchases. Um, a lot of times you'll see advertised pricing that says $1.99 a month. If you ever do that and come to me, please read the fine print first, because it's $1.99 a month plus, plus, plus. It's never just $1.99 a month. But I can almost always beat those prices anyway. 0% financing. Anything the dealership offers, I can get you. So when there's 0% financing deals, I, do, I can handle that. And I do the financing with you. So I negotiate your financing rate. A lot of times that is negotiable, people don't realize that. And I handle trade-ins. So uh, that's that. In Arizona, and most of the country these days, buying a car is all about dealer ads. What I mean is these are additions to the price of the car. So in the old days, let's say a car was $30,000. Your job was to go in and get it for as low as possible. So you try to lower the price. These days, you go in at 30,000 and they try to raise the price to 32 because these are over $2,000 in dealer ads. And you say to them, I don't want that. And they say, well, all the cars have them. You have to buy that, it's already installed. So my job is to get those eliminated and still get you a lower price. So when I negotiate, we only use invoice. We don't use window sticker, we don't do dealer ads. The only thing my clients pay for is occasionally window tint. And if they pay for it, it's like $150, $200. Not, uh, I think it's $700 up there. Yeah, so that's that. What I charge my services, $499 for new cars. I concentrate on new cars. That's what I do most of. Um, used cars I do sometimes. So my business is about 90% new cars and 10 of the remaining are used cars. I won't do anything under $10,000. And that's because what I buy from are only new car dealerships. So uh, you can't buy a new car or a used car from a new car dealership for under 10. It's almost unheard of. So if you're gonna send me referrals, try to send new if the, or for leases or purchases, but I will talk to used car people too, even if it's just to help them out. Cars in other states. So if I go out of state, I charge 999 because I have to establish a new relationship. So that's why it's double. My average money savings is around 2,500 after you pay me. So you pay me the 499 and then I save you 2,500 on average. Hence, you pay us hundreds, we save you thousands. And I've saved as much as $11,000 between financing and trade-ins and everything. And the average time savings is about five hours. I once met a guy at a party who didn't use me. And I said, so how'd it go? He said, it really wasn't bad. You know, it wasn't a bad eight hours. <laughs> and I said, eight hours, are you crazy? He said, no. We got along great. You know, he was from Brooklyn. I'm from Brooklyn. It was really not bad. I'm like, eight hours. My record, I've mentioned in this group, is 14 and a half minutes from when someone parked to when they left. Average is about an hour. So, yeah. And my doggy's saying, we're done. <laughs>
I, I shot that picture at night. One night I woke up in the middle of the night, I couldn't sleep and she was so cute. So I took the picture and she uh, said no more. And that was it. Just like my presentation. Yeah.